Much as I hate to admit it, I'm not sure I could have managed without you. If you're ready, I'd like to brief you on a highly classified matter. To be frank, you are among the few here that I believe I can share this information with. Though I suppose that's not saying much. I have not been entirely honest about my role here. Not to you, nor other members of the Vault. Hugo included. I am Lieutenant Colonel James T. Oberlin, United States Army. Actively, not formerly. I remain in contact with him to this day. I suspect that's for good reason. There's much about how we operate that civilians aren't privy to. And like I said, for good reason. Originally, I was to oversee a government-funded weather research project. One that was shut down and then ultimately scooped up by Mr. Stoltz. While I was never exactly an expert on the subject, Mr. Stoltz found my experience with the project important for the transition. That project led to the development of this very false weather machine, and ultimately our current predicament. I have remained in contact with my associates in the Army ever since, reporting the good and the bad. Not long ago, I dispatched a member of my team to pass along my findings to a drop site I've been using over the years. Unfortunately, he has failed to return, and I fear the worst. Daniel is a good man. It's important we bring him home, if still possible. There's also the matter of the report, and whether or not it had been passed along. We're potentially falling into the wrong hands. Thank you. The drop is located at High Knob Tower along the western perimeter of the park. We haven't had trouble with that location so far, but there is a chance that the Lost have overrun it. Or potentially some other party, drawn in by the allure of the storm. Either way, you're going in blind. Be prepared for the worst. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm not sure I could have managed without your help. Thank you.
Compromised. A group of outsiders rolled in, heavily armed, started setting up camp. Only a matter of time until they find me up here. Pretty sure this is it for me. But listen, Chief, I gotta come clean. I wanna go to my grave with a clean conscience. This whole thing, the reports, the army, it's a sham, boss. Every single file has gone straight to Mr. Stoltz. We're his men first, Chief. Not yours. Not really. There's no military contact. Just Hugo. Those of us in the know have been heading out here to play the part. Make you think it's real. But this ain't a drop site. It's a smoke break spot. I'm sorry you gotta find out like this, Chief. You're one of the good ones. Don't trust anyone down there. We're all just his... puppets. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry.
You seem perturbed, my friend. Has your work with Chief Oberlin been that taxing? Been a long time since we had a good... How crude. Around here. Come now, my friend. What is this all about? Of course his men work for me. Oh, yeah. You all work for me, my friend. Allow me to explain. James T. Oberlin is a workhorse. Powerful, focused, efficient. But someone like him needs order. Blinders and a carrot, if you will. With too much freedom of thought, people like him are lost. James came to me as a part of a package. I bought a box of cereal and he was the delightful toy at the bottom. Now he was a highly decorated, highly skilled prize, but still a part of a larger whole. The best thing for someone like him is a simple purpose. He plays this role because he needs to believe it's true. A smarter man would see through this facade immediately. But not Oberlin. Oh no. A crueler thing would be shattering the only thing that's kept the man sane for the past two decades. I do this for him, you know. These jumpsuits don't leave much room for expression. I would strongly advise against that course of action. I must warn you, disrupting such a delicate balance as the human psyche is a dangerous thing. You don't know what will push someone over the edge. But I will not stand in your way. Just choose your words carefully. Seeing someone do so much good around here, it's refreshing. Margaret says the outsider has been earning their keep. Maybe they'll be your back. And without Daniel, what was the situation? You're serious? And you have proof? Are you sure? Look at me. Are. You. Sure. After all this time, it takes someone from outside this vault to finally tell me the goddamn truth. Thank you, my friend. This... Ugh, it's very upsetting. I'm glad I have you to rely on. I'm gonna kill that. No, not yet. Not now. We thought I can't give him the opportunity to turn this around on me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I need time to make sense of this. It's best that Hugo remain unaware that I've been shown the truth. Not until I'm ready to act. I will allow him to think he retains control. You've earned a reward for your effort and honesty. I will let you know if and when I decide to act on this revelation. For now, I wait. Be careful with who you place your trust in down here. It's a viper's den. Dismissed. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you. We felt the whole vault shaking a while back. Security said it was nothing to worry about. Glad Hilda is back safely. Hopefully her research will be just...